Unlike you, allows you to create mind maps, concept maps, flowcharts, and other diagrams. Mind map is a visual representation of different ideas, thoughts, information, which are connected to a central node that usually represents the main idea of the mind map. Mind maps can be used for brainstorming, planning, making beautiful presentations, analyzing issues, getting things done, and many other things to suit your needs. To create your first mind map, Go to the file menu and for new, either choose mind map or organic mind map. For our example, we will create an organic mind map. Name the central topic. We will create a SWOT analysis. To add topics to the central one, just use the drag and drop function from the topic menu. Continue adding topics the same way. You can also add topics in the map by using shortcut keys. If you press insert, you will add a subtopic to the selected topic. If you press enter, you will add a sibling topic to the selected topic. If you want to connect two related topics, use the drag and drop function from the topic menu. If you want to add a boundary to a branch, just use the following shortcut keys. A concept map is a map for organizing and structuring knowledge, new knowledge creation, trainings, and representations of complex systems or ideas. To create your first concept map, you have to open a new blank whiteboard space. To add shapes to it, you have to insert floating topics. You can also add floating topics by double-clicking on an empty space. To connect these two shapes, use the drag and drop function from the topic menu. Label the relationship to specify the connection between them. Continue adding topics and connecting them. It's just that simple. Here's your first concept map. A flowchart is a diagram for designing and documenting processes and programs to better understand them and even find flaws, bottlenecks, or other less obvious features within it. To create your first flowchart, you have to open a new blank whiteboard space. In the Shapes library, we have a specific flowchart shapes folder which contains the most commonly used flowchart shape. We will start creating a flowchart by dragging and dropping the start shape. In our example, we will create a flowchart for the process of waking up. A process or an action is represented with a rectangular shape. A decision or a choice is represented with a diamond shape. Continue creating the flowchart. Flowchart needs to be neatly organized. That's why we will select them and align them in space and even distribute them evenly, either vertically or horizontally. Here is your first flowchart. If you want to know more about iMindQ, visit the link below.